Hi, my name is Puneeth and welcome to my channel Everyday Space. In the last video we left off where one of my drone propellers was broken due to a crash and I could not continue the project because I was waiting on the propellers to resume testing. So now that it's been around two months, three months, let, I'll give you guys another quick update of what the progress is now that the science fair is over. I was able to do manual and autonomous testing and even get the entire program working on the drone which was able to successfully identify and locate trash. So be sure to watch to the end of the video. So here you can see the parts list of when the drone was actually disassembled and wasn't assembled yet. And here you can see a test run of our drone while it's flying manually. This was actually, I believe, one of the first test runs that we've ever conducted. And this was after we got the new propellers, propeller replacements from the crash. So basically, as you can see, it's flying mostly st stabilized and everything seemed to go pretty well for the first test run. So then we moved on to the next part of our project, which was actually detecting objects or detecting trash that was on the ground. Here you can see a very early test run of us trying to detect plastic water bottles that you can see there. And this wasn't completely accurate as the drone, as the AI model was not fully trained yet. Basically for the training of the AI model, you need thousands upon thousands of images. And simply we just didn't have that yet. So I believe we were also collecting data on this test run to make our AI model more accurate. So obviously at the start it was not perfect and we were actually having quite a few difficulties detecting the plastic water bottles on the ground. So as you can see, the drone here is taking off and this test drone is actually completely autonomous. So I was not touching this remote control or the computer in any way during this entire time. I basically sent it a flight plan to carry out and it would automatically carry out that flight plan when I uploaded it to the drone. Now it stops every few seconds to regain its altitude and I'll, exp and I'll tell you in detail why that happens. So basically the whole reason that I make, make it stop every few seconds is because I found out in my testing that when the drone does autonomous flight for long distances at a time, it tends to lose its altitude very quickly. Now this is not good because many times the drone has come very close to the ground and it could actually touch the ground and then crash due to its velocity. So that is why I make sure it's going very slowly at 2 miles per hour and stopping every few feet just to regain its altitude and make sure it's flying up 7 feet above the ground. Now as you can see here the drone is doing completely well and is performing expectedly while maintaining a very steady altitude which is around 7 feet. Now if you're wondering how it even calculates that 7 feet, it is due to the atmospheric pressure at around 7 feet because this drone is not equipped with any lasers that can measure the distance from the ground. So now the drone is actually ending its flight journey and it is about to land completely autonomously. Now there's a tiny thing that go wrong, goes wrong here and it is kind of to be expected because the drone will never be perfect and I still don't know why exactly this happened but as you can see here the drone uh, landed per like initiated the land perfectly but for some reason at the very bottom the drone would not turn off its motors even though it touched the ground so then I quickly told the drone to turn off its motors on the, the remote control and then it turned off its motors comp perfectly. I'm not sure why this happened but I'm sure it's just for some deviances in the altitude reader and the drone was not sure that it landed yet. So this was a much later test run which is actually only a few weeks before science fair ended. And here we were actually able to detect that water bottle as you see in a couple seconds. So here it was an actual Python program of running a different test in that same location that you saw earlier. Here you can see when the water bottle was on the frame, it sh successfully located what GPS coordinates the drone was on and would able to show them to you on that screen there. And when there was no G Coke cans or water bottles there, it would say nothing detected. And once again, it goes back and says detected, and here it's gonna say not detected because there is no Coke cans there. 
After that program is done, it then goes and plots the GPS coordinates that it found during that test run on a map, like you saw there. Basically, our entire project worked nearly perfectly with around an 80% accuracy rate, which is to be expected because we simply could, we do not have access to millions of data for the drone AI. So overall, in my opinion, the project was a big success and I did learn a lot along the way. So now the science project is officially over. In the last five months of actually building this, I went from having around zero drone knowledge and programming knowledge to successfully building an autonomous drone and even programming code along with it. So I learned a lot during this entire project and I encourage you to do the same. But thank you for watching to the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one.